advice on internet slash YouTube drama. Okay, mm. all right. I've got a lot to say about internet drama, and this is what, what I got to say. What internet drama are you a part of? Um, subtweeting people who subtweet over the internet. Oh, okay, okay. I've dealt with that in the past. Okay, not anymore because I don't, I don't cause problems. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, mean, I don't cause problems, but um. Uh, you know, there's just so much drama going on the internet right now, and it's so, it's so sad, and not even, it's not even with me, but, uh, so, okay, for those of you who are dealing with drama that involves, like, internet, if there is any way you can stay off the internet and not, like, fire back at the person who's causing the drama, and if there's any way you can talk to them, like, over text, or call them or see them in person and just talk to them and have a healthy, normal conversation instead of subtweeting about them. That is the best way to handle drama over the internet. I absolutely hate when people subtweet other people and when they put their like lives on and their problems on the internet saying like, yeah, I just, I absolutely hate when, um, you know, your friend ditches you or something like that. You know, I hate when people do that. So, one, do not subtweet about people and don't subtweet people back if they're subtweeting about you. It's not a good look for you to other people. Two, it causes way unnecessary drama. Three, everybody will know about it. Do you want everybody knowing about your business, about, you know, what you're dealing with? Uh-uh, you don't want that. <laughs> and... <laughs> It's just, it's, it's, um, obviously you have the freedom to tweet whatever you want, but if you don't want problems, then don't tweet about the, your problems. Deal with them in a mature, healthy way. Call people, talk to them in person if you can. Way better. It's so much better. And in the end, you don't look bad. Even if you did mess up. You don't look bad because you dealt with it off the internet. <laughs> you know? So, okay, yes. Do not subtweet. Do not tweet about your problems. <laughs> it's, I mean, you can. You can. But I'm just sorry, gonna tell guys. You. I'm, I'm tweeting out that we were broadcasting. But yes. So, okay. okay. Um, but right now, there's just, uh, there is so much drama going on in like the youtube world and i don't i don't know what to say about it and like because it's bad and i and feel bad for people and it's just sad and it makes me just like face palm man just i don't know <laughs> very sad there's a lot of you know what happens is people bully other people but don't realize it and that's what happens. A lot of bullies don't realize they are bullying. So please make sure that you are being kind to others. And if you think you say something that might have been offensive, please get off your high horse and say, I messed up, I'm sorry. So many people have so much pride nowadays that they can't admit to messing up and... Um, being they feel like they always have to be right and i think it says so much more about a person is being able to admit they're wrong than always being right mm. i think that says so much and i think that goes for everyone watching if you are able to look at yourself and say yeah you know what i messed up when i said that joke that hurt their feelings and i'm sorry I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I messed up. Sorry I caused problems. Can you please forgive me and let's move on. I think um, I think that is such a good quality about any person. And if you are able to do that, then you are a great person. And if you struggle with um, being able to look at yourself and um, you know, reflect on your decisions and stuff, start practicing, start, you know, doing, looking at everything or everyday things that you do and everything, everyday things you say to like your friends and stuff and like, look at the reactions. Um, just, you know, take it slow. Just make sure you are not in the wrong and that 
before people accuse you of stuff. Wow, you have a lot to say. <laughs> and this is called giving advice. People are asking about bullying and stuff, so <laughs> just saying. Omg, oh, Nessa's advice is so good. Yes, it is. She got very, very good advice. I'm I'm that friend that people text and I give, like, amazing advice to, but then no one ever listens to my advice, and then they come back later, and they were like, you were right. That's me. I'm that friend. <laughs> it's so annoying, too. So listen to me, people. 